Welcome to a fresh new episode of the TED Nimu Show and a happy Monday to everybody. And let's start this week with a little dose of a tech news. And now let's start the show with AMD because some reports are telling that AMD's 5700 lineup might be discontinued. AMD has said or came out and said that no, it's not like came to full EOL, but it is only available when it's like on special orders like uh, for SIs or sub OEMs or even like if they have extra stocks then it goes to consumers but generally it is no more available or at least they are not manufacturing it right now in the like in the way that they were doing it previously and there are two simple reasons first they are announcing their 6000 series gpus like there are only few days left it's happening on 28th and also i think it like they are doing it fast like previously uh like generally what company do they launch a new product then slowly stop manufacturing the previous gen product but i think they're doing it in this fashion right now because of the situation we have seen with the 3000 series uh the two cars the 3080 and 3090 that are ha the nvidia was having stock issue and right now they are still having the stock issue so i think they are cutting down the 5700 uh manufacturing then like manu manufacturing more the 6000 series graphics card so there will be adequate supply or adequate stock when they launch their new gpus now this is my theory but i don't know what's happening so yeah as always take it with a grain of salt now let's talk about uh, the next uh, news which is also coming from amd and a uh, crotec there's a youtube channel called crotec recently they revealed a picture or leaked i think they leaked a picture of uh, the big navi's gpu die now we haven't got way too much information about this except the gpu die size which is i think 536 millimeter square let me check once i think it is 556 just 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 a bit just a bit just teeny tiny bit yes it's 536 millimeter square now talking about square let's go to the next news uh the segue didn't work but we have to talk about the next news which is coming from space like it's like way out of our head like i'm gonna tell you but it's from space some scientists found that there are many underground lakes in mars now it's a great news honestly like right now the situation of the earth isn't good okay it isn't and we are also contributing on it with you know wasting so much stuff uh, polluting like we are harming our planet so you know why don't let's harm another planet we had enough of this now we need to harm another planet but we need to live there there has to be uh, like life sustainability there so let's found stuff on mars okay we got water now we have to find out how the gravity works and all this stuff then we will be living on mars so yeah now if you are dreaming that of like interspace traveling or interspace living your dream might be coming true so the yeah, underground lakes on mars now talking about findings sonos found that google was infringing some of their patent and they sued them just okay google enough of your s word i'm not saying that word but enough of your s word but we are now suing you yes this is the time so it looks like that Google infringed uh, Sonos's five patents and it already happened like at the starting of the year uh, because at that time Sonos was suing uh, Google because uh, it looks like like Sonos was claiming that Google was uh, like Google ripped off the technology that Sonos was using to connect wirelessly like connect more than one speaker wirelessly then google also counter sued uh sonos uh, saying that they use their search engine and all the google stuff but they don't pay for the rights and stuff now sonos is coming again now honestly i don't like i'm not a legal person or a legal guy whom that, that like i can give you legal advice uh, and this is a legal thing but one thing i can tell you we need stuff like this honestly like epic going against apple now sonos against google we need to break the monopoly i like this company i like apple i like google but they have a definite monopoly in the market and we need to break that and like that's how smaller companies 
will be able to like gain market share like just just a simple thing if a certain operating system comes out which is better than google which is better than android but it won't be able to like be commercialized so easily like it would be hard for that uh, os manufacturer or the development team to commercialize that operating system because uh, android and ios is already dominating the market so yes we need stuff like this so yeah now talking about stuff that we need we need some quick news right now so now let's talk about the quick news microsoft accelerates x86 application support for windows 10 on arm twitter is working on effects for its automated image cropping corsair adds more white components to hydro x series g skill unveil sniper x azerox steel series legend edition memory ek launches vector water blocks for zotac trinity rtx 3080 and 3090 gpus now that was all for today's techie stuff i know this episode is small but, but you couldn't be blame me i like i was searching for news like like i just searched way too much that is the reason i'm recording this video so late i couldn't find no news so yeah that's it but there is a still little segment left for today's show and that is uh the stuff i like now let's talk about the stuff i like starting with monster hunter a new monster hunter teaser dropped recently uh if you don't know netflix is making a monster hunter movie monster hunter is already a game available to play you can go and play it i kind of had fun like it's honestly not my kind of thing but i can see why people enjoy it and I'm happy for them but it's not my kind of thing but honestly the the teaser looked really good it gave me a little bit of uh, you know um mad max fury road vibe so yeah i'm 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 hoping that this turns out to be good unlike uh, one punch man netflix and uh who was the director yeah m night Shyamalan. now talking about punch cobra kai season 3 teaser also dropped and boy oh boy the teaser got me excited so much. Miguel was waking up. It's a teaser, so uh, I don't think that counts as a spoiler. So Miguel was waking up. His his eyes were open. Johnny got arrested. His son getting arrested, and like everything jumbling up and all together. Boy, oh boy! Like I'm so much pumped for the season three and also they said that season four is already on the works oh my god just kill me like when the season one uh i watched season one i thought like okay this is gonna be you know a minor adaptation or a canon of uh of karate the classic karate kid at least like the first two episodes when i watched it i'm like yes it is way better than jackie chan's karate kid man it's way better but slowly, like, I was first like, oh, it's gonna be the same story, you know, uh, a master, a dojo master, uh, or sensei, uh, you know, teaching karate to a kid who don't know how to defend himself, then it goes high, 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 he goes to come, it, 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 it was like that, and I thought like, okay, Johnny is getting right now a good, like, he's getting the good arc, he's gonna be a bigger man here, but slowly, it, so I started watching, and my expectation was there. And after two episodes, it got here, like here, then slowly here, 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 here. And after I finished the first season and started watching the second season, my expectations skyrocketed like this. Literally, if you are a fan of Karate Kid and if you haven't watched the Cobra Kai, man, you are, you don't know what you are missing out. Even if you aren't a Karate Kid fan, even if you don't like these kind of movies or series, you will fall in love with this. Like, I told one of my friends, and I don't know if she's watching this video or not, but I'm gonna text her after I uh, finish this video. She needs to watch Cobra Kai. Like, I told her to watch, and she said, I didn't get hooked after watching two episodes. Yes, you won't be hooked if you haven't watched any classic Karate Kid. Man, like, I'm, I'm I'm texting her right now. Like, wait, just wait. I'm, I'm gonna text her right now. So honestly, I'm really pumped about the season three. Let me know you guys are pumped or not. But you know, one thing that you don't have to tell me that you're not going to watch this video anymore. Yes, this video is ending. This is the end of this video. 
so if you like the video hit the like button if you don't uh leave it a dislike also remember it hurts okay it hurts right here so bad but if you want to dislike it do it but it hurts right here i said it again i don't know why but if you want to watch more videos check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe do it by here and this is akash and i will see you in the next one peace